Hey y'all, who doesn't love a saucy meatball? Growing up, I could not get enough of these things and I was shocked to find out that the secret to their deliciousness was none other than grape jelly. Beef meatballs and grape jelly is not a flavor combination I would typically go for, but in this instance, it is pure deliciousness. And I'm so excited to inform you that if you have not yet made grape jelly meatballs in your lifetime, it is a must because it is one of the easiest appetizer recipes that you will ever make. So without further ado, let's get started on these grape jelly slow cooker old school meatballs. The base to these meatballs is a package of frozen beef meatballs. It doesn't get any easier than this. So put a two pound package into a greased slow cooker. And then you're gonna whisk together a flavorful sauce that includes grape jelly. So I have half a cup of barbecue sauce and I am going to add in one cup of chili sauce. So it needs to get up to one and a half cups on my measuring cup here, which is basically this, almost this entire jar. A cup of chili sauce, half a cup of barbecue sauce into a larger measuring cup. Now, after I just measured those two ingredients in a small measuring cup and then I put it in a large measuring cup, I realized I should have just done it in the large measuring cup to begin with because it's less dishes. But do as I say, not as I do. Just mix it all in one big four cup measuring cup. One and a half cups of grape jelly into my sauce mixture. So, so far, chili sauce, grape jelly, and barbecue sauce. And then I need a teaspoon each of Dijon mustard and sriracha. Last but not least, salt and pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. After your sauce is good and combined, then you can pour it directly over your meatballs, cover it and cook it on high for about two to two and a half hours, just until the sauce is thick and your meatballs are warmed through. Okay, it has been about two and a half hours and they are smelling so good. Look at these meatballs, they look so good. Now I have a tray with some toothpicks set out. So I'm going to spoon my meatballs with a slotted spoon onto a tray. Honestly, you can serve them straight out of the slow cooker. You don't have to put them on a tray, but if you want a prettier presentation, a tray is the way to go, but the slow cooker keeps them warm. Ooh, they're gonna be so tasty. I mean, yum. An Armatel China plate full of saucy, glossy, grape jelly slow cooker meatballs. It would make anyone happy. It makes me especially happy. And they are so easy. It is a dump and stir recipe in the slow cooker. And most recipes in the slow cooker take forever, but these only take two and a half hours and you can keep them warm at your party. It is just like a win-win situation. I cannot wait to dig in. If you have any other really easy holiday appetizer recipes, I would love to know, so put them in the comments. I love seeing what y'all are doing at home. If you make these meatballs or you remember them from your childhood, put that in the comments. I love to read about y'all's stories. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're watching on YouTube, click the bell so you never miss an episode of Hey Y'all. I will see y'all next time. In the meantime, happy party going. Cheers, y'all.